Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping into Fusion and looking at the merge node and how and when to use it. I've done a video on this about a year ago, but I figured I'd do a quick updated video that might be a little bit easier to follow and just dedicated on the merge node. So here we have a little composition inside of Fusion with a few different elements. And as you can see, we are using two different merge nodes. Now, quite simply put, the merge node is used to bring multiple elements in a composition together. So this is the merge node here, and you will use this every single time you want to bring an element into the one composition, whether that is text, whether that is an image, anything like that. So let's take a look at the merge node. So we're gonna zoom in here. So the merge node will always have these four inputs and outputs. So the square is always gonna be the output, so that will go onto the next item, as you can see here, the merge one, going into our media out one node. The yellow triangle is gonna represent our input or our background input, at least. So anything that plugs into that will be in the background. And then the yellow triangle represents our foreground. This is easily demonstrated here by, you can see we have our ellipse which is in the background plugged into the merge. So it is plugged into the foreground of the merge two node where the gray background is plugged into the background. So it is on top of the gray background, but then it is plugged into the background of the merge one node with the text placed in the foreground. Hence we have this layering option. If I was to swap these inputs here, you can right click on a merge node you can go swap inputs. It'll also give you this shortcut there. And now you can see it is hidden behind this ellipsis tool. Now, it doesn't matter how big or small I make it, that text is completely hidden now. Now, the reason it is hidden is because now the text is in the background where this gray background and this teal circle are currently in the foreground. Everything that has come before is in the foreground, so the text cannot be seen. So let's undo that so we can see the text. Awesome. So if we were to add a, another bit of text to this, we can drag a text node down. And if we wanna view it, we can just drag it and we can type in here. So we can just type example. All right, just so you can see what we're doing. Now, if I wanna bring this into the composition, the easiest way to do it is just drag the output of that node to the output of another node, depending on where you want it to be in your composition. So if I want it to be, we wanna put it behind the circle, but in front of the gray background, we're gonna drag it in here and add the merge. We can't see anything, so let's display our media out node. So now if I increase the size of this one, now you can see we have different text behind in a different layer. So that is pretty much how you're gonna be using the merge node whenever you're creating a new element. Now the easiest way I've found to work on it is if I wanna create an element or a shape, let's say we wanna, let's say we wanna create a weird shape. So I'm gonna drag background down, we're gonna create a red shape and I'm gonna display this in the viewer. So I'm gonna work on this completely separately. Let's create a shape. So I'm gonna get the polygon mask, add that in, and we will be doing a video on masks. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. That'll be dropping some point this week, but let's create a weird kind of crazy, nothing shape, nothing special about it, right? So now we wanna merge this into our scene. We're gonna merge it in between our teal circle and our text. So drag the output to the new merge node. It'll create a new merge. Let's display the media out. So now we can see it there and it works exactly how you would think it would work, right? So it's in front of the teal, but behind the text. And now it's in front of the text. Now it doesn't matter that this merge node is here. It's not doing anything. There's no harm in having it there. But now we have our little blob in front of the text. So hopefully this is kind of giving you an understanding how the merge nodes work. It's honestly, they're just there to combine your elements together. Another good thing is the merge node also has a few settings here. So you can actually sort of move that node. So it pretty much acts like a layer. So everything in that scene is controlled as well. So you can sort of control how that merge node works. You control the apply mode, whether you want it to multiply over screen, all that sort of stuff. We've also, we can also look at how we want the edges to react. So if we want it to just be, so if we were to shrink this down, obviously we've got the edges there and that's because currently the edges are set to display the canvas. So pretty much it'll just display what's underneath it, but we can do a wrap and then we got some really cool weird effects going on there. So that's pretty cool as well. 
and we can also do a motion blur effect pretty much like you can on most individual nodes inside of Fusion. So that is how the merge node works inside DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully that clears some things up for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. And until the next video, see ya.